Well, you don't normally see wood in a welding shop, but this custom made wagon seat, this goes on a horse-drawn wagon. And as you can see, the craftsmanship and the process in which it takes to build this is extremely detailed. But what we've got to build, as you can see these brass pieces sticking up, there's a handle or a, or a, a rail a handrail that goes all the way around the seat and it kind of looks like this made out of three quarter inch solid stainless and what we've got to do is make it to go around we'll make it in two pieces and right in the middle here you've got set screws to tighten it down and you've also got set screws on these just to keep it from rattling but what we'll do i've just got a piece of wire and I'll actually just take it and bend it. And this kind of gets me started. So what I'll do is actually bend it here. I've already got it bent, but kind of see where I'm gonna mount and I'll put a piece of flat bar down there at the bottom where that arrow is. And that'll get attached to the three quarter round stock. And you can kind of see, I've already got this, the shape I want to it. And then it'll come up and just 90 and go all the way to here, 90 and go straight over there to the middle. And then we'll have to do the same on the other side, just make it completely opposite. So what we've got here is our three quarter solid stainless round stock. And what we're gonna do is make this shape here, which is the handle part that you grab onto when you're getting on the wagon. So we'll actually bend, we're gonna roll this piece here. This is kind of, a, this is gonna stay straight. So what I'll do is make it just a little long and that way we can trim it off and make it fit. It's a little easier to do that than trying to make it exact. Uh, you make it maybe an inch long, something like that. Um, but what I'm gonna do is actually tack this down to the table. That's gonna be our jig to, to bend around. So I'm just gonna tack it to the table and we'll actually tack the round top to this. So you can see, I don't know if you can see these lines, but I actually took a, piece of drop and just made a couple lines kind of in the direction I want it to go with my, my bend. Turn it down. So all you're trying to do here is just pack it Two places, maybe three, just to uh, get it to stay. And if you have a way of clamping it, you can clamp it down too. But that'll work for that. And then this, we're actually going to tack it also, just because it's easier doing this by yourself easier to tack it to the table and then you can actually heat it and roll it around now this is stainless this is mild steel and the wire I'm welding with is actually mild steel wire but it does work because this uh, this is not aluminum or something like that. It does have uh, some of the components of mild steel. So uh, what I want to do is just get a good tack. So I tacked it really good on the very end. And then what I'm gonna do is heat this and roll this around to this position here. I'm gonna try to do that without any kind of hammer. We're gonna just see if we can heat it and roll it by hand. Just, I've got a six foot piece here, so you try to leave a little extra long as well because that gives you some leverage. What we're using is called a rosebud tip. This is a little bit different than your standard uh, cutting tip. This is made for heating. Put a lot more emphasis on the area. Put a lot more heat out of one time. 
because we're not going to cut it, so we don't need as much of the oxygen. Like I said, just a piece of wire. You can use coat hangers. This is actually the wire that uh, comes wrapped around my bundles of steel. And I keep stacks of this stuff. And um, works great for templates. I use this all the time for that stuff. Honestly, that's probably about all I use it for, but we keep about 30 or 40 of these at a time. But uh, they come in handy for stuff like this. So. take our cutoff wheel here just cut that tack loose if we have to bend it more 
just have to pack it back on there. careful not to put too much pressure just make sure you cut that tack loose and then we'll uh, quench it in the water real quick so we've quenched it cooled it off a little bit probably got a little heat to still to it you grab it it's still a little bit warm there but uh, this is gonna be the handle so this is the seat this is the side you have to grab on this and get on the steps to come up to the, the seat on the wagon and as you can see, it kind of sticks out far. This kind of needs to be halfway straight. So, but you got to remember this, this is where it's going to bend here and go that way. So what I'm going to do is I'll actually, like I said, I made this long. So that'll actually come in. There's going to be a flat bar here with a hole drilled. and It'll have a lag bolt uh, bolting it to the wood. So that'll actually come in like that. And then you'll come up and turn a 90 here. So that's actually pretty, pretty close. So what I need to do is just mark where, uh, actually I'll probably just go by the tack so I'll know on the next one on that side uh, which way we need to go. And we can do the same thing, we can start out the same way even though this is going to be opposite. We'll do the same bend, but then when we get to here, this will be a right side or left side, whichever way you're sitting on it. We'll just call this right. And then it'll be here, that. And then this one will be the opposite over here, like that. Now we've got to figure out where to make the bend. All right, so as you can see, we I didn't film it just to, for time's sake and uh, the fact that I'm set up over there heating and, and forming and uh, just trying to move the camera and stuff. It's too... Uh, takes a lot of time anyway I'll show you the second bend in a minute so I've got a piece of six inch um, round stock or actually uh, it's like a big thick wall piece of um, pipe actually is what it is but six inch diameter to do this roll and then the other one it's about uh, two and a half to do this roll and I'll use it the same thing back here because I'm gonna roll this and go through this one and to here so far <laughs> These are the easiest of the two. And that turned out pretty dang close to where I want it there. I'll cut this off and either I'll hammer it, hammer out the end of it here and drill it or um, because it's stainless, I might just put a piece of flat bar on there, weld it and grind it smooth to make it looks like, look, look like it's been hammered out. Uh, stainless is extremely hard and just using a, ha a hammer, if I had a power hammer or something, I could actually do a little forging. Uh, it's not something we do a lot of, but that would be the way they did it years ago. But uh, just for, for this sake, for time's sake, most of the time we just use flat bar. So I'm pretty pretty happy with that. That actually looks pretty dang good. It may come down like that. So right about there is where it needs to be. That's pretty straight. Might have to just tweak this just a little bit, but I can do that after we get it set. So, what I need to do now to get this straight with this edge, I'm going to put just eyeball this piece of round stock straight with this. And I don't really care what this is doing up here because I can adjust that. I just need to know where it's at and then get an idea of where I need to start my bend down here. So this is the pipe I use. This is just a three inch schedule 40. Uh, that was the one I used for this pin. And then what I'm gonna do is kinda try to hold this up. 
might actually get some clamps. So what I want to do is actually try to clamp this where it's going to go to help me line up. It's not exactly easy to do by yourself. Five more hands. Just trying to hold it up and just get it be clamp it in place that'll help me line up here they said I want this to be in line with this have a really tight radius here I might actually use something just a little bit smaller to make it a tighter turn I don't have a lot of room to play with like I said we can always go back I think we may have to tweak this just a little bit and then also tweak this one just a little bit uh, not too bad. So I just went out and got an inch and a quarter piece of schedule 40. I'm going to use that to uh, make this bend here. Because I can actually locate it a lot better with that. Not real happy with the way this is setting up. There's a lot of marking going on, as you can see. What I'm trying to do is just make sure I've got the correct orientation when I bend this. Because you've got this roll and that 90 and this 90. You want to make sure, otherwise you're going to end up having to twist it, which I may still have to do. But I just want to make sure got, I know where the top is. So we'll just mark it there with a horizontal line.
made the third bend. So we've got our loop here, six inch pipe. Then we took a three inch piece, made this here, a little more of a sweeping curve. And then we did a hard 90 there with an inch and a quarter. And uh, so you got three different bends here. So we're gonna dry fit it now and see how close it is. Sure, we'll have to tweak it a little bit. still hot that's why you uh, always wear gloves in a welding shop that one is uh, no bueno anymore try not to uh, grab it because I know it even after you clinch it it still holds heat so we'll uh thinking with a tight radius it would go through there that is incorrect so this piece I think anyway so what I'm gonna do is just cut it here this all gets polished anyway so that will allow me to twist that piece and not have to heat this again and twist it and then I get these pieces on Cut it. Probably gonna cut it right here, actually. 